What up, YouTube? You already know what it is. What it ain't. It's your boy Dylan. I'm back with another video, y'all. And all right. So basically, what I'm reading is Young Thug is on a wiretap encouraging YSL members to do crime. This is crazy. I don't even know how the fuck DJ Academics getting all this information. But it be like, it be crazy how niggas like him can get hella information. Like, it ain't like you can't read public records. But it's like, nigga. What? Like, you gotta be sitting at home doing like hella research about this shit. But obviously, you doing hella research about this shit will make you lots of money. And I'm here to listen. So, I'm all ears. You feel me? So, let's get right into it, though. Free Thug. And RP Lil Key. Like, I don't cap. <clears throat> Let's not try to turn everything into a goddamn conspiracy theory. You feel me? Like, maybe this is just a bad... Maybe this is just a bad time and thug life with... Like, bro, I ain't gonna cap. Bro, like, you gotta think. Thug, baby mama just passed March. Um, and then this happens and... This happened in, in May... And then Lil' Key just died in May too, so this is like a weird combination of a lot of weird things happening. But like, let's not try, let's like, let's not make everything about everything being sac sacrifices and all that shit. Why, why can't just be shit just happening at a crazy time? You feel me? Like coincidental. Like, let's not all act like shit just don't happen coincidentally to us without it happen. Trump, without, without us trying. I can't get my words out right, right but let's get right into it, y'all. I did it. <laughs> Let's just check it out now. Holy! Now, kind of got a little bit of backlash for one of the videos I did about Young Thug and Wife and Lucci. I pretty much said, hey, we like these guys' music. We want them to be free. We think they're good people. But if we read the indictment, actually, to be fair, they're sitting in jail because of their own actions. Also, clearly, they were also obsessed with violence just as they were obsessed with making music and other things in life. I'm sorry to say. Now, that might just be the raw hard truth unseasoned reality however it seems like it's the case now i got some more details for y'all and i hope y'all are ready to digest this because i know we all want to sit back and be like yo the cops set them up no ysl is only a record label i'm not saying it's not but i'm wondering how the heck the cop got this information if it's only a record label now again let's go into what's in the indictment and first and foremost you have to realize the way how Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, is charged. They're charging him to be the leader of YSL. They said he is the kingpin, or one of them, within that organization. What do they have to prove that? Well, they have a bunch of, you know, incidents where they believe he is making hits on people, making threats, uh, authorizing stuff. He's financial, financially covering certain things, which would make someone a high-ranking member. Now, here's the thing as well. Young Thug was on and caught on wiretap since 2015. They've been monitoring his phones, okay? And in some of these conversations that he thought was private, and when you see <coughs> on an indictment, paints a completely different picture of how Young Thug was operating with quote-unquote YSL business. Now, again, I'm just reading what's publicly available. I am digging up nothing. This is just what the prosecutors say they heard, and if they heard it and they're typing it out and it's not public, Clearly, they have a wiretap or some type of communication, okay? Now, here's the thing. Uh, they say on January 25th, 2015, J defendant Jeffrey Williams, an associate of YSL, and Kylie Ori, a leader of the criminal street gang Sex Money Murder, engaged in a conversation with each other. Now, how the hell they got the conversation? Wired. Wait. You know, thug and discuss it. My oh, fault. Let me put this weed down real quick. Hold on. Oh, shit. Hold on. You know, thug been discussing shit over the phone. But I just don't know no more, thug. Like, bro, they might have got you, gang. He's like, they might let, they going to let Sergio Kitchens out. But, Jeff, come on now. T on the, over the phone since 2015? This has been five, seven years, bro, of like. 
evidence just building up on you. Like, hang on, I don't know what to say about this shit. We gonna if they get out, this is they gonna have to. He gonna have to tell on somebody. Somebody gonna have to do do some type of time. The dog, this don't make no sense. Over the phone, bro. Dog, right? And the conversation stated that sacrifices must be made. Soldiers must fall for the battle to be won. The conversation further states per all, and I and this is a bunch of gangs, I believe, or no, this is a bunch of like, you know, leaders of sex, money, murder, I believe. Anybody not under one of these individuals in the state of Georgia must line up pizza. There is no rolling from one to the other. Everything is as you are. Sex, money, murder. Nothing added, nothing take away to guns. Now, they're saying that basically these were two gang leaders having a conversation on the phone that was wiretapped. Basically saying is get down and lay down. If people ain't rolling up under your gang or they're not rocking with me, listen, we going to have to, people got to drop. Okay, now again, don't take a genius to figure out why the feds might be like, oh, this is the leader, right? Now, let's keep going. Uh, they also have another conversation, right? Where they uh, uh, they have Jeffrey Williams yet again. And somebody named Marquavius Huey. They engage in a conversation in 2020, March 12th, where Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, they were discussing a vehicle that got stolen and Young Thug says to Yui, if he don't take it back, he go die. Again, all this type of stuff without context, you know, it might just be like tongue in cheek. But clearly, if there was a vehicle theft, there was somebody who was probably, you know, um, on the outs of that gang. Like, they're painting a picture here, people. Okay, now that's not only it, all right? They also have another situation, right, where they basically... Um, uh, uh, they basically say that Young Thug, right? Young Thug was on the phone or having some type of conversation with two other people, Wani Lee and Trontavia Stevens, where Young Thug says, why well, sell rule the world, kid? 24 million on a nigga head. Y'all just start bringing me the money. Man, y'all niggas stop playing with me. And basically, they're saying, that's another instance of Young Thug being the boss in these private conversations being the person who's given directions and being the person who's continuing this criminal conspiracy. That's not it. Another taped conversation, okay? Basically, they say uh, in this particular conversation, it was a bunch of people. I don't know if this was like a group FaceTime or a group message. I don't know what this is. It could be text messages, right? But they, 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 they're they saying that um, like four or five other people and Jeffrey Williams we're having a conversation, and Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, asked them, asked them, y'all ain't beat them up or shot them yet? Y'all niggas getting soft. Hey, I'm just trying to tell y'all, <laughs> this is what the feds got against, you know, Jeffrey, a.k.a. Young Thug. Pretty much, it's caught on the phone, caught on DMs, caught on the jail phone. They're going through messages. They're going through lyrics. They got a lot of stuff. And for the people who are saying, hey, listen, uh, this is all coincidence, don't tell me, go tell the judge, okay? Again, I'm still flabbergasted that these guys were up tens of millions of dollars, but was out here literally playing like some cops and robbers, GTA, like, you know, mob boss stuff, which then just tells you they couldn't have valued, valued their freedom and their wealth that much, all right? Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, Young Thug does get out, and hopefully, again, this is a big misunderstanding. If some mysteriously, if some mysterious way, all this shit just blow over and it be like, like just all this shit just all of a sudden just go away. If this nigga get out of jail, oh boy, y'all gonna have a rude motherfucking awakening. Cause he finna be the biggest blood. Free on the two niggas. Hey, hey, first off, I'm over.
your bitch. Deleting the pictures and block you on Insta. Tell you the truth, don't know why I hit you. Man, it had to be them jizz, Lord knows I was tripping. One thing I hate is a liar. Bitch try to play me, now we smoking on Maya. Said you a ride, guess you need a new tire. Bitch, the pack will keep shining down the shit too fire. I be smoking on